everybody, thanks for coming to check out today's video. I'm going to be making a burn table since I finally got my tanks filled for my torch and hopefully someday I get a plasma cutter because that would be a lot of fun. So I'm going to make a burn table so I don't cut through my, you know, normal building table. I'll put it on some wheels so it's mobile and I don't have to, you know, trip over it every other day. So, without further ado, let me show you how I did it. Okay, to start out I am using a 30 by 30 inch quarter inch plate for the base of my burn table. I actually bought that plate to cut different things out of, but since I don't have a nice way to cut things, it's now going to be used for the base of my burn table. The walls are 3 16 by 4 inch flat stock. I'm trying to keep them, you know, square, but they're not exactly flat either. So, I'm trying my best because I'm going to weld the entire inside solid because I want to have water in my burn table. So, can't have it leaking so while I weld it I jumped around to hopefully cut down on some of the distortion but I'm welding thin gauge flat stock so distortion is inevitable so all I can do is try to limit it when I finish the welding I grab some two inch by quarter inch flat stock that I cut down to one and five eighths, I think. Man, whatever. Uh, and they will be my spacers for the edges of my table because I have some walkway grating that I'm gonna cut up and set in on top of it so I have distance between the cutting surface and the bottom for all the slag to drop. And because this is going to be a tank essentially I'm going to cut a hole and mount the drain plug that I'll be using to empty out the actual burn table with that all welded on I moved on to cleaning off and laying out where I'm going to set my legs unfortunately because there is a bit of warp to the plate now I'm trying to keep them straight but eh, it, it won't be perfect and it'll be on wheels so it'll I don't know it'll probably be fine after I got the legs tacked on I measured the center to center of each leg grabbed some more flat stock and tacked it on when I tacked on the second side of it I did pull the legs in, so hopefully they'll be a little straighter, but really I'm, I'm not overly concerned about it. Alright, with the legs and the bracing all welded, I moved on to putting the wheels on. As you can see, I used more flat stock, drilled out all the holes, bolted them together, and I'm going to start tacking them on but when I started tacking them on I did realize that there isn't enough space to actually undo the nuts so if my wheels go bad I guess I'm gonna cut them off and figure out a new system to put them on because there's no replacing what I have set up right now so now that all of the actual building's done, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and painted. Uh, since I don't really care about the paint job too much, I'm just using all my half-empty cans that I got sitting around. I just want to get paint on it so hopefully it doesn't completely rust out on me over time. Because I'm really impatient, 
as soon as this finished drying I flipped it over and decided not to paint the inside yet because all I have to do is set the grading in there to show you the whole thing done and complete so I'll go back paint the rest of it later probably but I do get to show you some kind of B roll at kind of I don't know it's a table on wheels so I just spin it a little bit that, that's the best I got for you if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe share run out in the street and yell at some random person about it I don't know dealer's choice but thanks for watching